Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Solly TV. I'm Sarah Solomon and- Sarah, they already know who you are. Orlando, why do you always have to cut me off? Hey kids, uh, welcome to today's episode of Solly TV. Uh, we're back here. Um, ratings were bad last week. That's why we got Sarah here. Our producers told me we had to do something different and they, so they want to bring her. Sarah, why don't you tell us about what today's episode's about? All right, so on this edition of Solly TV, we are going to talk to you about proper techniques and etiquette for shooting on a green screen. So I'm actually going to reenact a lot of misconceptions about wardrobe and what you should and should not wear when filming on a green screen. All right, so everyone thinks that you can wear maybe certain shades of green when filming on a green screen, and that is completely false. Stay away from anything that has any kind of green tone to it. So whether it's a lime green, a forest green, a deep green, whatever you call greens in your world, don't wear them. So you want to make sure that you, again, just play it safe. If you have a shoot on a green screen, stay away from those green tones. Okay, ladies, this one's for you. If you decide that you want to film something on the green screen and you want to do this adorable updo and you've got strands of hair sort of everywhere, try to avoid that because the editor will really not like you. <laughs> and obviously the, the goal is to make you look the best you possibly can when you're shooting any kind of video. Um, but especially on a green screen, you might want to make sure that you don't have any flyaways because those flyaways are really difficult to key out when it comes to post production. So basically, when you're deciding to shoot on the green screen, what you're doing is you're getting rid of the background behind you. You're telling your computer that this solid color behind you, in this instance green, you want to get rid of it. So you're going to go into your editing program. In our situation, we use Adobe Premiere Pro, and you're going to select the color green, and you're going to tweak a few of the settings here and until you get rid of all of the green. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you don't overlap with the hair or the skin or the clothes or anything like that. You want to make sure you get a clean edit. That way, it looks as if she's standing in front of whatever background we decide to put her in front of. Okay, so many of you may wonder, well, why would I want to shoot anything on a green screen? Well, the beauty of green screen is that we can literally put you anywhere in the planet. You want to be in Paris in front of the Eiffel Tower? You can be. You want to be in the middle of the beach? You can be. You want to be in an office setting, you can do that too. Or you can have just a crystal clear white background behind you, maybe with your logo floating behind your head. You can really play with a green screen and do anything you want to do, and that's the beauty of it. Sir, catch. Now that all sounds fantastic, but know that when you're shooting in front of a green screen, lighting has never been more important for your shot. Basically, there's no right or wrong, but what you do need to keep in mind is that you need to keep a good amount of light on your green screen. Most importantly, you want to try to keep the lighting as even as possible. If you have any dark areas and any light areas, it might make it more difficult to get rid of the color green itself because now you have multiple shades of green and you want to try to keep them as close as possible because your dark shades of green might overlap with some of the shadows on, on your talent's shirt or, uh, it, or the hair on your talent. So you wanna make sure you get as much lighting on the green screen as possible and keep it as even as possible. And then also light your talent. Make sure they look good in the light. Um, if, if they have no light on them and you have a, a green screen behind them, that might look good if you're trying to get a silhouette. But if you're trying to have them properly exposed, you wanna make sure your lighting is on point. As always, thank you so much for watching Solly TV. We hope. So remember, kids, whenever you want to shoot in front of the green screen, know that there's a whole lot of responsibility that comes with that. You can put yourself anywhere in the world and do anything you want with it with the proper execution. So ne tune in next time on Solly TV and we'll learn about, I don't know, multicam edits or something. Uh, maybe Sarah will be back. Maybe she won't. Let's see how the ratings do.